if they're not into it, whatever, dude. Then you just, I don't know, then you cut them. Probably with a butcher knife. It's just my weapon of choice. Although it is a little messy. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of My Life is Unnecessarily Difficult. Um, oh boy, so I got things to discuss right off the bat. But first, let's do this puzzle, which um, admittedly, you might think that I didn't figure this out right away, but I already kind of like prefaced this immediately before I started filming, although now I've already forgotten because of some ridiculous bullshit that started. All right. Associated with fire is the bird dude. And wait, 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 wait. With, with the book back out, the triangle thing is fire. So we will grab the triangle thing. I'm leaning over because, again, the microphone's like right in the way, like right in the middle of the TV. Where is the bird dude? You're not a bird. You're not a bird. Oh, but you sure as hell look like one yes you do sir yes you are says i yes i did no what happened was i was about to film this thing and sure enough What's another problem arises for some reason i you know this is why you do these things i did a um sample recording before i actually started to hit this final last edit that you're seeing right here this or this final master file that i'm actually filming right but, uh, okay, so water is the full circle, and water associates with dragon. Um, so I did my test sample footage of the gameplay, and sure enough, it comes out 480p. For what reason, I don't fucking know. And I couldn't figure it out, and I'm just getting frustrated for, you know, because that's just like, why wouldn't I get frustrated? Why why not have a, an issue arise when I'm just trying to film a Let's Play? And then, so, but it's, it's weird because it's really, the troubleshooting is not overly difficult by any stretch of the imagination. This thing is kind of really finicky. I just have to keep, I just unplug it, more or less. Unplug it, plug it back in, then it starts to magically work. Um, and now it's recording back and, ooh, jeez, HD. Uh, this goes to this one, right? Yes. Yes. No. That's actually the good thing about this little puzzle is that's really not even much of a puzzle at all because it even tells you right away if you're wrong or right. Whereas a lot of times you do a sort of, you know, triggered situation in a, in a puzzle game and it won't tell you if you're right or wrong until all the pieces are in the rec in the correct coordinates. But this will probably be our last recording session for Uncharted 2, which is, I want to say sad, but it's not sad, because that means we get to move on to something else um, relatively soon. Although we still probably got another part after this one, we'll see. Um, we were talking about that for a while, my judgment's quite poor. Oh, these fucking things. I, You know what's so funny is I always forget there's a second part to this... Um, to this uh, puzzle, but it's also very simple. So the red one is that weird thing, which uh, the red one was the bird. And what did it look like again? Had like an L in it. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's give it another look. Yeah, that sounds about right. Then let's go to the dragon dude. He's white. Or really, I guess he's blue? There's five of them in here. Yeah, he's, uh, he's on the end, the clear one. That would be... Is it that? Let me check. Yeah, that looks like that's right. Okay, well, then this is what I was talking about. It's not going to tell you that you're right until you do all all of them. The tiger dude is earth, right? Associated with air. Or he's green. So he needs the uh, kind of bolded in one. Not that one. That one. Perfect. 
Now we can move on to Mr. Tiger. Or Mr. whatever the f fuck this thing is. Yeah, the yellow dude. He's got that long sort of thing on the end there. Yeah, that. Oh, what? Really, that's how. But that's how simple puzzles have to be for me to do them right away. Right away. Kind of immediately. Is this considered a cutscene? Maybe I should, because this really is kind of getting in the way. There, I lowered my microphone a bit. Let's hope that didn't cut out, because that would be bad. I'm always afraid of touching my microphone during filming, because it's like, God forbid, I hit it at just the right angle where the USB pops out, and then it's got to be, and then I lose the audio or whatever. I Well, it would stop at the point that it unplugs, but... I don't want it to be some catastrophic moment where then the audio goes shitty and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't about that life. Oh, shit. Sometimes you gotta jump, jump off a building. Although I'm not uh, at all... What's the word I'm looking for? Encouraging suicide? It's a very bad thing. Don't do it. There's a lot to live for. Give me the prompt. Triangle. What the f- <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh, it's one of those nights, man. It really is. Oh, my balls itch. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. Bitch. I'm giving them a good rub down. Do I- Do I- You really gotta play that every time? Okay, I gotta get- like, We just gotta walk to the very edge of it. Oh, there's a lot of dudes over here. Oh, and those crazy Yeti things. Alright. But I got... Well, close combat's not really what I'm... Not really what I'm looking for right now. There's a lot of rocket dudes coming up. You know, when I say rocket dudes, I immediately think of rocket power. The TV show. Came up with a great idea. Did I talk about this in the last part? When I... If I somehow, you know, end up one day owning, like, a beautiful home... And I, you know, obviously, you know, you want to, like, have your office. I want to, so I want to set up an office. And I think in my office, I'm going to have a TV running 24-7 that just plays 90s cartoons. Because that's what I grew up with. And 90s cartoons are great. And what's funny is I haven't watched legit 90s cartoons in a very, very long time. But I think it would be pretty cool to just... I need to load the volume of the TV. I think it'd be cool to just have a TV that's running 90 cartoons all the fucking time. And make it seem like cable. You know, where it, they're not playing in any sort of specific loop. You know, just random ass episodes. Cycling through a bunch of different TV shows. Wild Thornberries. Um, Rugrats. Hey Arnold. Rocket Power. Obviously some of my favorites that I enjoyed throughout my time as a young lad of sorts who is shooting me come on come on make my god damn day you slimy snake in the motherfucking grass no but really the m4 is great i want to use the m4 oh this mounted gun guy i guess i should get down on the ground ah uh, well i was in cover what kind of dumb Dog shit is that? Really, I mean, there's no cool dog shit, so. Not to say that it's particularly like, dumb as a particular fashion of dog shit. Dog shit is always kind of not all that great. Boy, I'll be honest, I'm phoning it in on this one, ain't I, people? <laughs> uh, I don't know why. But you know what the problem, the thing is, though? This is really my only day that I can record. Um, so I gotta film this now, otherwise this shit ain't get, this shit ain't gonna be ready for Monday. So, the show must go on. But you know what, here, I'll give you some, I'll give you some good stuff. I'll give you, I'll give you some, some good vibes. The damn thing is, I know I had a few things I wanted to discuss, but 
I'll be damned if I don't remember what the fuck they are. Well, I'm out of weapons. Maybe I'll just go up here. Where the rockets are. That's the rocket powered theme song. Oh, Jesus. They're right there. There's another one, right? What the hell? I'm already out of ammo for the. They only put two ammo here? Two rounds of shotgun? You can't get up there either. Oh, that's fucking booty stacks, dude. Get up, Drake. No, actually, that's a, that's a, something I can mention. I have a friend who just bought a PlayStation 4, and he hasn't been in the PlayStation game for a very long time. He basically completely skipped the PlayStation 3 generation. And he's going to be getting... Uh, actually, he already has it. He's going through Horizon right now. Horizon was is what pushed him over the edge to get a PlayStation 4. I feel like I've discussed this. I can't remember where I talk about these things. Um, but he... Yeah, he bought a PS4 for Horizon. He's been playing... He's enjoying that. Then he got, he's got the Nathan Drake collection. Please tell me that got him. That did not get him, son of a bitch. Alright, come on. Damn it, it's like just barely not getting him. Fucking hell. He got the Nathan Drake collection. Um, the PS4 he bought comes with Uncharted 4, so he's set there. He's going to play through the Uncharted games relatively soon. Um, I told him if there's anything that... Because I think it's a great conversation game more than anything else. Um, I said, you know, if he's if he's going to listen to any of the homework I gave him, which is basically what I did because he knows I'm the PlayStation guru, I said, um, get Heavy Rain because it's on the PlayStation 4 now in the PlayStation Store. I said, uh, I said, get Heavy Rain, I think, because he's a guy. He's really into single player stuff. He likes stories. He likes, you know, just kind of sitting back and taking in like um, a feature length sort of um, storytelling type game. So I was like, dude, you gotta get Heavy Rain. I'm like, get Heavy Rain. You'll totally enjoy it. You'll love what it's going for. You know, and we can kind of discuss like once you're done, we'll talk about you know your choices and. You know what endings you got and stuff like that so i told him totally get that and i'm hoping he will follow through with playing heavy rain and then i told him too like if you don't um if you enjoy heavy rain there's also until dawn which until dawn i mean is a native playstation 4 game that actually looks very good because heavy rain can look a little dated in areas although i have not played the playstation 4 version although i can't imagine it's vastly better than the playstation 3 version because let's face it it was still a ps3 game from the ground up Uncharted's a great looking game on PS4, but it's still quite evident that this was a PlayStation 3 game that is just running at a higher resolution and higher frame rate. That's fine. But Heavy Rain is uh, one of those games that didn't really age all that well, whereas um, Uncharted 2 and 3 in particular still are really good looking games for the hardware. Uncharted 1 hit is, is pretty dated, Uncharted 1's a little rough around the edges. Um, particularly, I guess, in a lot of the, uh, character models, it just looks a little, eh, but that's fine. It's not a, you know, big deal or anything, but the, the character models for sure look a little, uh, a little rough if you go back and try Uncharted 1. <laughs> Although I think Uncharted 1 had some great platforming moments too. And is it weird? I guess I kind of like the setting of Uncharted 1 the most, because I like, I, I like the whole jungle setting. Oh, Jesus, Elena, you scared the living shit out of me. I almost socked the shit out of you. Wait, so oh, we're done. Right. Awesome. Yeah, I want the M4. Yeah, I'm plowing through M4 ammo like fucking nuts, though. No, I don't want the pistoli. Right here. Oh, I gotta sneeze. This is it. <sighs> That sucked. You know, the damn thing is, if you, when you gear up a sneeze and you don't sneeze, for me at least, even though I didn't sneeze, it still kind of looses up my, like, nasal passages, you know what I mean? And so I, it, like, I don't get drippy immediately like I would with a full-on sneeze, but I kind of get a slow release of the fluids. Yep, there they are. They were starting to come out, but slowly. Whereas you blow your nose, and it's just like right away you gotta. 
secret passageway. <laughs> Got a guy at work that only has that mustache, right? No other facial hair. And he usually... Actually, this guy, he he normally doesn't have a mustache, so he got a mustache. He kept a mustache recently, and it's one of those, you know, kind of overly ridiculous. It's not super long, but one of the uh, one of my coworkers said, "Hey, you know, take a look at Dan. His name's Dan," and he's like, "Doesn't he look like that guy that ties up women on uh, the railroad tracks and waits for like trains to come by, and he's just sitting there like in a trench coat with a top hat and going?" <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, that's totally what he looks like. He looks like that fucking weirdo, that fucking train thief guy, woman killer. Who even is that guy? What is that? What lore is that? It's gotta be like from some old-timey TV show or like comic or something. I have no fucking clue. Definitely before my time. I'll have to say that. And holy shit, do old people fucking love giving it to young people yeah i'm a young dude i get it all the time at work there's a lot of older people that work at my at, at my place and dude they give it to me hard sometimes in terms of music or pop culture and i really surprise them sometimes with the shit that i know because i'm not fucking stupid and you know content that was made before i was born doesn't just stop existing for me i can still look at it and find it so they're always a little bit uh, baffled when i know certain music or know certain tv shows or something but man they just fucking nut ride that shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And we do it too for Gen. Um, what was the new generation? Gen Z or whatever the fuck it is. Um, the you know kids that are like born in the 2000s. Like it's weird to think of a kid born in 2000 like three, but they're like what 14 now. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy to think of, but that actually is the case. There's nothing wrong with that too. Don't be like, don't be one of those little, you know, assholes who wants to pick on people for just being born. Like, oh my God, somebody has different tastes than you know we do, and oh my God, they don't know shit that didn't air when they were alive. Because obviously, how could they know unless they actively went looking for it? You know what I mean? It's the same thing. Kind of set a good example. Don't be like the asshole older, you know, what do they call Baby boomers. Don't be like baby boomers that just fucking pick on millennials all the time. Like, treat the gen, the gen whatever the hell they're called, better. Set a good example. And show them the way. Show them some good shit from our time. And if they're not into it, whatever, dude. Then you just, I don't know, then you cut them. Probably with a butcher knife. It's just my weapon of choice. Although it is a little messy. This makes me sound really incriminating. I've never killed. I've never murdered children. Ever. See, remember when I was telling you how we were watching me and Holly watch a lot of those investigative shows now? And now I'm just thinking of like I'm thinking of like how how incriminating that is. Then just think that if a local child was killed in my area, cops could look at this. Let's play, right? And they could legitimately, like, have cause for concern, and I would be questioned. Because they don't, you know, they, they, they check every single stone. No stone goes unturned. So now I just kind of always think about it like that. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? We're missing something. Do they all have to go up, or do they all have to go down? Well, since they're all up, and ain't shit happening, maybe I should turn them all down. Turn the permadagger down for what? That, that was cringy. I, you know, that's funny. It's it's the word cringy and like the the feeling of cringiness. You know, I sometimes wonder like, how much stuff do I do that's cringy? Probably a lot, to be honest. I'm sure I could go back and watch a lot of my old videos and just be like, oh my god. Son of a bitch. No, dude. Just stay behind me. Drop the gun. Do it! Stay back! Shit. I should have killed you myself when I had the chance. Not a mistake I will make twice. Back off! Oh, 
Pull the trigger, little one. See how long you live. Now, you will open the passage to Shambhala. Go to hell. <laughs> Are you a student of history, Mr. Drake? I've read a book or two. Mm. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot. They were all great men. But do you know why they prevailed? I'm sure you're gonna tell us. Because they had the will to do what other men would not. <laughs> Compassion is the enemy. Mercy defeats us. Now, unless you wish to test me still further, you will drop your weapons! Do it. Kick them away. So, you have tested my will. Now it is my turn to test yours. Killing us won't get you anywhere. Or killing him, yes. But you? You hurt her. You get nothing from me. Well, then it appears we are at a stalemate. Unless... I add another pawn to the board. Bring her in! Shit. Ah. Get your hands off me. <laughs> now, one we will use as a lesson, and the other we will use as incentive to cooperate. You choose. This is bullshit, Nate. Yeah, don't play into his game. You want my help, you let them go. This is not a negotiation! Who would you sacrifice, and who would you save? What, this one? You want to save this one? Or maybe this one? Hmm? You know what, enough of this shit. All right, quit the theatrics. I'll do what you want. Calm down. You, asswipe. Give me your lighter. Should I know? Find a way across and fix it! And take him with you. Maybe this time it will get done right. Oh, and Mr. Drake. Don't try anything clever. After you. I feel like I'm moving a lot. I was gonna be pain in the ass to frame my head up because I keep readjusting to be comfortable. Another kind of unsettling scene. What's funny is, well, it's not funny, but I think it's go, it goes back to what we were talking about before with Lazarvich. I think he's it's a good, uh, such a great unsettling uh, antagonist because it really did like that kind of scene right there. Kind of captures like the frustration, right, where you're going after some treasure and. You know, he just wants all the dirty work to be done, said, and out of the way for him, right? And so when he gets into the, you know, you see this big room, 
and it's just like another hurdle. He just gets frustrated, like just ah, just fucking you go do it, like. And it's just like you want to do what he says because he's a fucking nut job, and he just killed that hostage. Which let's face it, we all knew that guy wasn't really a hostage. He was just some random henchman. Of course, Lazarvich was gonna fucking off him. Like we, that guy wasn't collateral collateral at all. That Nate was holding hostage. Uh, oh, why, why, no. No, you can't super jump. Why would you do that? And I'm all the way back here. For fuck's sake. I think this is going to be one of those situations again where the Let's Play, it's going to be too long to be one part, but it'll have to be one part because it's not going to be long enough for two parts. So maybe this is the finale. Really trying to... Well, you know what? No, because the ending part... Yeah, this is yeah. There's definitely another part after this for sure. Now that I think about it, I'm trying to remember the the, the lead up here. <clears throat> and there totally is uh, still a decent amount left, at least warranted enough for another part. At least at least, at least to, no Drake for the love of God, don't do it again. At least to the point where you could um, I can maybe do it 30 minutes, 30 minutes like that. Now. What I... I don't think we did ever talk about it. I said it in, like, part one, how, yeah, yeah, we'll totally get to this at... We'll, we'll talk about it at some point. And I don't think I ever actually brought it up. Um, but it's the discussion of Uncharted 2 versus Uncharted 3, because that was always kind of a big thing. We never actually touched on this. It's always kind of a big contingency topic. Very important for a lot of people, because most people, I think, would say Uncharted 2 is a better game. And when people say Uncharted 3 is a better game, they kind of get all uppity about it. Like, what are you talking about? Clearly Uncharted 2 is better. Now, for the people that say Uncharted 3 is bad, that I don't understand at all what's so fucking ever, because it's the same fucking game, it's the same fucking universe, and it's, let's face it, I mean, it's the same sort of linear path and way type of storytelling. Like, it's, it's still essentially fucking Uncharted. Like, just by default, it's a good game if you liked Uncharted 2. I don't understand how you could enjoy 2 and not like 3. To the point to say that it's a bad game. I, I mean, I guess you can, yeah, you can like play it, not enjoy it, but like it just seems weird to me. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't, it just doesn't fucking make sense. But so I don't really get that that shtick with with certain people. But I would have to imagine there's not many people that have that mind of, you know, two's a good game and just and three just isn't. But most people, I think, would say 2 is better. Now, my opinion is, I actually, um, and this is uh, this actually goes to a polarizing conversation that um, Greg Miller and Colin Moriarty always have over the years of when, when they were at IGN and kind of funny, they'd always say uh, that 3 is the better game. And um, basically, I'm kind of in the same line of thinking with them. Honestly, I do think 3 is a better game, and it's kind of for the same reasons, which people, whenever they brought up these reasons, people never seem to bring up a good rebuttal. Um, and I haven't seen a good rebuttal for it either. They always bring up, and I'll echo the same things, Uncharted 3 is a lot more unpredictable. Uncharted 2 feels like it's going through the same motions of Uncharted 1, um, which is fine. That's why 2 is a, still a great game. There's no denying that whatsoever. This is a treasure, yes. But when you play certain moments in 3, I mean, there's just so many kind of left, and, like, left turns and kind of these story arcs that you weren't expecting and they were genuinely exciting the first time to play that game um and i think the epic set pieces were were just as awesome as two um when you're you know going through the rubicali desert and you know the the plane uh you had a lot of this deeper moment of serenity with uh you know elena and everything not to get too into it but um you know, I think 2 is more of Naughty Dog capitalizing on Uncharted 1, and 3 was them kind of taking a bit of a step further. Now, I also kind of get when people talk about how, um, uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't want to fuck this up. Uh, what, what? I just got to make sure what side I'm on. Okay, so this is the... These are the, that's the fire side. This is the... Whatever the hell these things are side. Such a little book. Such a so then what I want is... These must be really lightweight, by the way. I don't know how he's even... 
remotely capable of doing this. I, I already don't remember what the fucking icons are. Let me look at it again. Okay. I also completely lost my train of thought on what I was talking about in regards to Uncharted 2 versus Uncharted 3. But, I, so I guess that's not really much of a long conversation. I just, I, I wanted to acknowledge it right away, because that is, it was, if you are a fan of Greg and, you know, Colin over the years, you know that was a conversation they had quite frequently, and a lot of their fans constantly disagreed with them. That's fine. I, I don't get it. I, I think 3 was a better game. And not by much, you know. It's not like dramatic. I'm not being just like overly dramatic about it. Oh, I think that's already done. Yeah, that's that should be the last one. I did turn the cylinders. Now I gotta go turn the other cylinders. Because otherwise, I would just be. It would be the same conversation that they always have. But I'm I'm more or less kind of in their same line of thinking that should be right and no that's not right so we can turn this one that's good that must be really this must be really frustrating to the people that have much better memory and not having to check the book like every five seconds because they just know however this is the last one so that should do it yay Alright. Help me turn this fucking wheel, you shitty fucking backstabbing cocksucker. I have a poor choice of words sometimes. People always say it's unprofessional. That's just who I am, though. Legitimately. I'm not fucking with you guys when I talk like this. And I think you know that this is who I am at this point. Oh shit. These creepy things. Now see, now this is, I think this actually, this part is a good little sort of look into the echoing statements of how two is more of one and three actually takes interesting turns. This scene right here kind of is immediately with you and Eddie Raja fighting against the, the you know, Spaniard creature things, whatever you wanted to call them. Right? Now here you are fighting with Flynn, who is, you know, your enemy right now, right? And you're just kind of putting those differences aside to fucking fight the supernatural aspect of the game. It's like, cool, but... just repeating myself at this point you see what I'm getting at this dude is fucking he's like a fucking linebacker ah man I haven't seen Chris in a while either What the hell are those things? <laughs> what? Scarecrows. Guardians to frighten trespassers. Yeah? Well, it's bloody effective. Zarvich. You've done what you asked. Let them go. Always bargaining. But you have played your last hand. And lost. Looks like it's the end of the road, mate. No, 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 no. Not yet. I want him to see Shambhala. And die knowing that I have taken it from him. Open the gate!
You have been a thorn in my side for far too long. On your knees. Hey, hey, uh, Zorn, we had a deal. I do not suffer traitors. Oh, right, so I suppose you know exactly how to find stone then, won't be needing me. Thanks. On your knees! <laughs> what is this? Fire, you fools! front this is uh pretty much a i mean that's this is a cool moment <clears throat> like yeah the the what i was just describing was pretty typical with the flynn fight but the the reveal of the the people of shambhala the ogre guardian type creature dudes like this this moment's pretty awesome and, and i you know a lot of people don't sort of like this part of uncharted 2 for the same reason, people didn't really like the ending of Uncharted One with the, you know, supernatural Spaniard dudes. But I think this is, I think this is this is what makes Uncharted Uncharted, and it's like so awesome. You've that, the, the kind of, the sweet release of finally getting to what you were looking for, right? And and it's like totally at like, ass fuck crazy, you know. And this time it's like, this is me praising more of, uh, this is me praising the second game for the things that it definitely did do right. But it made it so much more cooler, I think. Like, the Spaniard things were freaky as shit, and you're, you're totally like, whoa. But these things were, like, awesome, dude. Like, these big-ass, purple, fucked-up, like, jacked-up ogre dudes. These things are cool as shit. And it's not even, like, sort of a one-off thing. I mean, this uh, particular ending section, they give you a lot of um, game time with these things. Which I like, because now you have a little bit more of a... It's a different gameplay me mechanic, right? Because these things don't fight like traditional enemies that you're used to in the game. So you kind of have to approach them a little bit differently. And you get a decent amount of time to play with them and sort of learn what you do and don't want to do with them. Yeah. These bodies look like they've been here 60, 70 years. Hey. Didn't seem to do them much good, but here. Thanks. Mm hmm Well... The Zarovich and his crew will have headed into the city, so if we can just make it back to the entrance, it should be clear by now. Uh, no, Chloe, we're going after the Chintamani stone. <laughs> what? We have to stop Lazarovich. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? Get to the stone first before he does and destroy it. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't tell me you're buying into all that supernatural nonsense. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. Okay, well, just in case you missed it, that man is certifiable. He thinks he's fulfilling some sort of prophecy that the stone will somehow make him invincible. Immortal. <laughs> We're standing in the middle of Shambhala and you're questioning what's possible? Yeah, you saw how many bullets they pumped into those things? Something strange is going on here. All the more reason why we should get out while we still can. Uh, I'm just trying to set things right. And maybe save the world? Oh, God. <laughs> Listen. Sunshine, the world doesn't care. You stick your neck out, you are asking to lose your head. You said yourself you want to take this guy down. Yes, and I want to see him pay more than you do. But that's not how it will end. This, this is how it will end. No, not this time. <sighs> Come on. What do you say? That you're crazy. Let's go save your bloody world. <laughs> it's so cliche. It's good though. I like it. Nothing wrong with being a little cliche and like just cheesy as all hell. Uh, but I know damn well what I'm waiting for right now. So I don't know what's taking them so long, unless I'm supposed to sort of progress this a little bit forward. Don't exactly remember. I guess I'll go up here. Actually, this is where I came from, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 
that's where I came from. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Go up here, I guess. Um. Oh, okay. I think that's triggered it. Are they here now? Oh yeah, they're here. Ah! Oh my god, I just tried to slow down the game like in Horizon Zero Dawn. With my focus thing. Hey, oh, well, no, you're not even really... It's using your focus, you just hit R3 and you get to slow down time a little bit. It's really handy, though. It makes the game so much fun, too. Ah! Ah! I mean, they pretty much have the same body motions as the, uh... When they were wearing their costumes. So you kind of already have an idea of how they behave. But they're just freaking jack, dude. They don't use weapons, obviously, because... Look at them. These things were annoying as shit, too, on, um... Crushing and Brutal. It was mostly their bow and arrows. Like, I... I you wouldn't really have a problem with... Shit, dude, he... He fucked me up. It's not really much of a problem if, you, if they're, you're being chased by one. But, you know, you're pretty much one and done on their arrows. So that was always really... That was super frustrating. And look, they're just bullet sponges, dude. Like, they just don't stay down. See, I'm getting fucked up on easy right now from their, from their arrows. Come on, buddy. Come on, guy. Sit the fuck down. There we go. That looked like it hurt him. Look at him bucking the shit out of this dude. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Jesus, he's just beating on my girlfriend. <laughs> Elena! There you go, but then you get the crawl of this fucking dude. But then you take pick up their crossbow and the crossbow's awesome. Look at that. Boom. Knocked him out. Alright, tell you what. Let's get up there. Because we're running out of time. And we'll just get ready for the next bow. Tekken style. Get ready for the next battle. Round one. Fight! There's your crossbow. Oh, you don't have one because you're the. Uh, you throw weird shit, dude. I'm meant to pause, but that was me again being used to Horizon and pressing the touch the touchpad. All right, well, that was part nine, and I think it's incredibly obvious that part ten will be the finale. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Ah, I'm gonna do that off camera. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching.